The film started, and we are shown two police officers. They were taking a criminal in their car, whose name was Krug, who was looking back from the car again and again. It seems as if he was waiting for someone. Then the railway crossing came on the way, so these people stopped their cars, that is, the train was passing at that time. These people were waiting for the train to pass, then a car came and hit their car hard. That car pulled up and took their car away, due to which both officers were badly injured. Now two people came out of the second car, in which there was a boy and a girl. These two were actually the companions of that criminal Krug, and they came here to save him. The boy was Krug's brother, and the girl was his friend. Because the officers were injured, the three of them went to them. First, they beat them a lot, after which they shot their heads and killed them all. After this, the scene shifts, and we're shown a 17-year-old girl, whose name was Mary. She was a very good swimmer, that is, she knew how to swim very well. Her mom and dad were so busy in their lives that they could not give their only daughter, Mary, a good time, because her dad was a doctor and mom was also busy. So today, to spend time with her daughter and enjoy it, they made a plan to go to their house, which was near the lake. When these people reached their house, from the pictures there, we know that Mary had a brother too. Now because she was not enjoying herself there, she was asking permission from her mom and dad, should I go to meet my friend? Hearing this, her mom became very quiet because she was very worried about her safety. She forbids her to go, but her dad allows Mary to go. Along with the car key, he gives her some money that could be useful for her. But with this decision of his, Mary's mom was not happy. Now, Mary came out of here to meet her friend, who used to work as a cashier in a store in the city. While talking, both of them noticed a boy who had been in the store for a long time. While buying things, he was looking at them very carefully. Anyway, now he comes to the counter and asks for a cigarette from Mary's friend, but because he was young, she forbids him to give her a cigarette. On which the boy says that if you give me a cigarette, then I will give you a party in return, where we will enjoy a lot. So now on this point, Mary's friend agreed. When he takes out money from his pocket to pay for the cigarette, there is blood on a note, which he quickly takes out and puts in his pocket. Mary and her friend could not see this thing. After which, the three of them reach the boy's house. Mary stays in the car, she does not go inside. While her friend and that boy went inside, and Mary stays in the car and waits for them. After a long time, when her friend did not come back, Mary began to worry about her. So now she also comes inside the house to check and sees that my friend and that boy are sitting together, smoking cigarettes and liquor, and enjoying themselves a lot. Mary told her friend that it was quite late and now we should go. But when her friend started insisting, come on, Mary, you also enjoy being with us, so Mary has to listen to her. She also started enjoying smoking cigarettes and liquor, and this way, they became friends. Then Mary got a call from her mother, who told her, where are you, my daughter? When will you come home? I am worried. Upon which she replies, mom, actually, I am with my friend. If you allow, tonight I can stay at her house. But before her mother said anything, the signal went off, because of which the phone is cut off. After this, these people talk to each other and enjoy themselves a lot. After a while, the boy's family came here. These people were none other than those who had killed the officers, i.e., Krug, his brother, and his friend. Actually, Krug was the father of that boy. He tells his son i.e. Mary's friend that the police are after me, and you are enjoying yourself with the girls here. Do you have any concerns? After saying this, Krug tells his brother and his friend to catch these two girls and make them prisoners. So they both come and catch Mary and her friend, upon which both of them got very scared. Mary started telling them, please let us go. I promise that I will not tell anyone about you. But still, Krug does not listen to her. In fact, his brother started threatening them with a knife. Because of this, Mary got very scared. She asks Krug's son, i.e., her friend, for help. Now, although he wanted to help them, his father was helpless because of Krug. So that's why no one could help them. Mary's friend cleverly got herself released and rushed to the bathroom. She closed the door and started calling the police. But Krug's brother comes through the window and catches her. He snatches the phone from her and breaks it after which he also started beating her a lot. Along with that, these people also broke Mary's phone, so that she does not try to call anyone again. After which, they kidnapped them and started going from here. But on the way, Mary sees that it is the same way, which goes towards our lake house. When she sees it, she gets a plan. She started moving very fast. 
she cleverly opens the door and tries to run away. By doing this, the balance of the car broke, and she hit a tree, and in this way, her car had a very bad accident. In the meantime, Mary's friend started running away, but Krug's brother and friend both started following her. While running away, his friend came to a factory, and started shouting for help, but then they both come there and catch her, and immediately bring her back. They tie both girls up and lay them on the ground. Krug tells his son that because you are their friend, come and do injustice to them and do whatever you want, but because he did not want to do this, he clearly refused. On seeing this, Mary's friend got angry, so she abuses them. Krug got so angry that he took a knife and cut her stomach very deeply, and left her there to suffer, after which he went to Mary. First, he beat Mary a lot and later did very bad things to her, and in all this, Krug's friend was helping him. In the meantime, after getting a chance, Mary picks up a stone and hits Krug on the head. Then she immediately ran away from here. She comes to the shore. Then Krug and his companion also came there. On seeing Mary, he started shooting at her. But she did not get a single bullet. She quickly jumped into the lake and continues to move forward. Because she was a very good swimmer, Krug was still constantly shooting at her. Before she reached the shore, she was shot. Due to this, she did not die but got injured a lot and fainted in the same water. So now they thought she was dead and left from there, and start going to a lake house to ask for help. Because Krug's brother and his son were injured, they went to the lake house, which was not owned by anyone else but Mary's parents, and because they did not know this, they kept asking for help, on which they both agreed, and calling them inside, Mary's father starts treating their wounds. Because he was a doctor, Mary's mother says that since you are our guests, you can stay in our guest house tonight if you want, because it is raining heavily outside and you do not have a car, on which they agreed. She also makes coffee for all of them, and when Krug's son went to the kitchen to keep his cup, he saw Mary's picture on the fridge and understood that these two were her parents, but he does not tell this to anyone. He hides it, because he was afraid. What if my dad, Krug, does not kill these two too? He then started sitting there and crying. Because he was ashamed of the fact that if I had not brought them to my house, then all this would not have happened to them, and today they would have been alive. He then left Mary's locket there and came back to everyone, and now these four go to sleep. When Mary's mom and dad started going to their room, they started hearing a strange noise from outside the house. When she went out to check, she was very surprised to see that Mary was lying there in a very injured condition. They got scared. They ran and came to her immediately. Seeing their daughter's condition, theirs also deteriorated. They quickly brought her inside. The bullet hit her back. To remove it and take all the necessary things, her mom came to the kitchen. Mary's locket also sees what is lying there. She picks it up and comes to her husband. She tells him that when I went out, she had worn this locket. And now, see, I got this from the kitchen. In the kitchen, Krug's son was gone. So surely he must have kept it there which means that these people have caused such a condition for our daughter. While saying this, she started crying. With her, Mary's dad also started crying. Then, when he started treating his daughter, she understood that they had done a lot of wrong with Mary, because of which he got very angry, and he decides to take revenge for all this. He asks his wife for the boat keys, so that he can get out of here first, because he has to save Mary's life. Mary's mom gives him the keys, after which, he goes and puts the boat in the water. Everyone was sleeping in the guest house, but Krug's son was not able to sleep, and he quietly goes and picks up the gun from his dad. When Mary's mom was in the kitchen, she was taking a knife to kill these people. That's when Krug's brother came here. He did not know about their plans, and he could not see Mary's picture on the fridge. That's why Mary's mom did not let him go to the fridge side, and by getting entangled in her talks, she makes juice for him. While drinking the juice, as soon as he came out, he saw Mary lying on the table. Before he could go and tell this to his brother Krug, Mary's mom comes from behind and attacks him. But somehow he gets himself released and takes a knife, and tries to kill Mary's mom with a knife. That's when Mary's dad came here. As soon as he comes, he catches him with his hair and pulls him back. Then he injures his hands a lot. To give him more pain, his hands are dipped in hot water, due to which he began to suffer. Seeing this, Mary's dad picks up a hammer and puts it in his head, due to which he does not die, but he began to suffer, and leaving him like this, now these two had come to the guest house, Krug and his friend were sleeping, 
Krug's son was sitting there with a gun by his side, who first points the gun at them but does not shoot. In fact, he gives the gun to Mary's dad. Hearing the sound of the gun, Krug's friend was awakened. As soon as she got up, Mary's dad shot her. The bullet that touched her neck and passed through her started bleeding a lot. So quickly, she comes to the bathroom and hides. Mary's dad opened the door of the washroom and came inside. Mary's mom had also come there. First, they beat a lot of friends of Krug. Then they shoot a bullet in her neck and kill her. In his hurry, Krug also opened his eyes. Mary's dad also started shooting at him. But he quickly jumped out of the window and ran away. And comes inside their house. Coming inside, he found his brother's body. Blood and blood-stained clothes were seen on the table. Krug does not understand why these people killed my brother, and why do these people want to kill me now? Then Krug looks at Mary and her mom from the window, who was in the boat and was about to leave from here. He understood everything, including that Mary is their daughter, and these people are fighting with us to take revenge. In the meantime, Mary's dad also came inside the house looking for him. Krug had also seen him, where there is a very dangerous fight between the two of them. They were picking things up and hitting each other a lot. They were also hitting a lot with their hands. But in a little while, Krug started dominating him. He hits him and injures him a lot. When he was lying on the ground in a wounded state, to irritate him, Krug tells him what did we do with your daughter and her friend? Hearing this, he started getting angrier. That's why he got up again with courage. He starts fighting with Krug, but Krug had an iron stick in his hand, with the help of which he started hitting him more, and just wanted to kill him. Then Mary's friend, Krug's own son, comes with a gun, and he points the gun at his own dad, Krug, but Krug snatched the gun from him and started hitting him after pulling his hair, he then grabbed his face and started hitting him more, but Mary's mom comes from behind and attacks him, with which he leaves his son, here, Mary's dad also came, and now they both started beating Krug, they hit him a lot, with which he was so injured that he immediately became unconscious and fell, after this, they left with their daughter, Mary, and Krug's son, through their boat. Now, because Krug was still alive, Mary's dad was not at peace, because he could not leave his daughter's criminal alive like this. That's why he came back, and with a sharp blade, he cuts Krug's body and paralyzes him. When he was unconscious, that is, when his whole body had become useless, he had become a living corpse. His body could not move. When Krug came to his senses, he started asking Mary's dad that you are a doctor, a surgeon. Tell me, what have you done to me? Have I had any surgery? On this, his dad answers, whatever I have done, you are going to enjoy it a lot, but yes, you'll have fun when you survive. After which they put Krug's head in the oven, turned on the oven at full speed, and left from there, with which he started suffering a lot. His head melted, and smoke started coming out of the oven, and suddenly the head bursts, with which his head turns into many pieces, and in this way, his painful death happened, and the revenge of Mary's parents was fulfilled. This story gives us a lot of lessons. Like always, give time to your children, go out with them, etc. so that the children do not have the habit and hobby of going out, with which they get into the wrong things. And if you can't give time to your children for any reason, then always keep an eye on them. Always take care of their safety. With this message, this movie ends here.